Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about Kalen Ballage, running back at Arizona State, in terms of his analytics profile. Uh, so we're essentially going to do a draft profile on his production data and his athleticism data to give you sort of, of a perspective on what his potential could be at the next level in the NFL. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so if you don't know what market share data is, or you don't know what a explosive lower body strength score is, or any of the other things I'm going to be discussing in this video, uh, just go to the description and all the information will be there uh, to give you a general idea of what those terms mean. So getting into Kalen Ballage's production profile, the only sort of red flag with him uh, he only had a 48.31 market share production score. And the he didn't hit the all-pro threshold of 89 or higher. He didn't hit the five-time Pro Bowl threshold of 69 or higher. And also didn't hit the three-time Pro Bowl threshold of 52 or higher. Um, the vast majority of multiple all-pro, such multiple Pro Bowl running backs, uh, had at least above average running back production out of college. Um, and this is the biggest question mark of Kalen Ballage, even on film, is how does a guy that th that's this talented on film, like when you watch Kalen Ballage, you see lots of talent. You see explosiveness. You see speed. You see flexibility. You see all these crazy athleticism traits. You see size. But he's not getting the rock at a very, very high rate. Um, so you just kind of wonder, like, why were they forcing a committee with this guy who's supposed to be this God-level running back? And that's the big thing that his production data really brings up, is the question really is just those particular questions. Um, is why was he not as productive as he should have been based on his athleticism traits and based on his talent level on film. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to the averages uh, at the position, this brings up this point even further. The average All-Pro score was 90.98. The average Pro Bowl score was 75.05. And the average starter score was 74.41 out of 100. Um, so he's below average in all these areas. He's below average for an All-Pro player below average for a Pro Bowl player, below average for a starter player in terms of his overall production profile, which again brings back that question, why was he not as productive as he should have been? And again, that is a legit concern. Um, there's things on film where as an inside runner, there's things to be desired, I would say, with Kalen Ballage in terms of him as an inside runner and some other sort of things here and there. So I would just say that those are the big main red flags or concerns when it comes to Kalen Ballage's analytics profile. However, that cannot be said for his athleticism uh, testing. He had a 71.30 explosive lower body strength score, 91.03 speed score, and 85 flexibility score. Um, based on my data since the 1999 NFL draft class, uh, the vast majority, in fact, pretty much every single all pro slash pro bowl running back since the 1999 NFL draft class had at least a 79 or higher athleticism trait. Um, so essentially you just need one trait that's 79 or higher. And when it comes to Kalen Ballage, he has two traits. His speed and his flexibility are both 79 or higher. He is a all-pro slash pro bowl athlete in terms of his skill set. But again, the question becomes, why was he not as productive as he should have been? And I do understand that this, this is a question that gets brought up a lot with different players because people want to make the excuse that, well, the coaches are dumb or the coaches don't know what they're doing or there was a beef or there was this or there was that. But I do think that this is legitimately a question that you just need more information on. And not only that, you just have to understand that, yeah, Kalen Ballage could become an outlier because of his athleticism. There's also lots of other running backs that were not were pretty much as productive as Kalen Ballage, had the same athleticism traits as Kalen Ballage, and became nothing at the next level uh, in terms of uh, their overall uh, data and stuff like that. Jackie Battle is one of those guys. Jackie Battle was a tremendous athlete, had a very similar production profile to Kellen Ballage. It didn't become anything. You know, he had a couple games here and there where he was fantastic, and then that was it. And then that was the end of Jackie Battle. Um, so again, you have to think about these things when you're um, evaluating these players, because that's that's the point of data. That's the point of analytics. It's to ask a question uh, that film and other sort of resources can answer. And that is the only thing with Kellen Ballage. Other than that, He's a fantastic athlete. He's a fantastic, you know, physical specimen. And he definitely has things on film that he does that are amazing. And he also has things on film that are not so great. So he's going to be a gamble. But I do think that the athleticism testing 
would make him a gamble in you know a day three sort of situation. I think that based on his overall data, there are a lot of warts to him, but I do think he's still worthy of consideration of taking fairly higher than a lot of other running backs. And I think if the gamble pays off, you could end up having a very, very good investment in him uh, long term. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. If you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.